Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan, and once again, we are in Satisfactory today. We're going to pick up where we left off, uh, finishing up the Ironhide smelter, and then hopefully quickly move over to bringing things into what will be the Wheeljack storage facility. And we're going to try and set up all of our in like important items going into our storage and into the Dimensional Depot over there. So we may have to go get some more Mercer Spheres. Uh, we certainly are going to have to go check out our plastic, maybe run some power out there and try to get to the next tier. Uh, I'd like to start trying to make some computers locally, and I want to try and sort out the tickets so we can get everything unlocked in the awesome shop as well. Snuggly Boo Bear, hello, good to see you, super fast. Sweet Sandy kicking around. Blast Jordan was the first one in the gate today. Mind Trip Media used 100 bits to kick off the stream. Thanks very much, really appreciate that. And uh, in between streams, a uh, cat toll 22 has followed. Really appreciate it. Glad to see everybody. Hope you're having a good Wednesday. I almost said Thursday. Good Wednesday so far. Uh, let's not waste time. So we'll jump in. I did clean up a little bit last night. I needed to come back in and get some screenshots and I had to wait till nighttime. So I decided to uh, grab a couple of screenshots. Uh, one of your power grids has shut down. That's not this one. That is another one. Um, that's the one over by the, um, uh, the oil. So... Uh, we have backside. Uh, you've seen me do this before. Uh, this is exactly the same as the front. I just took the time to do that in between uh, because I wanted to come up here and get some screenshots down here because this looks really cool. So that's what I did for the YouTube thumbnail. You can watch the VOD on YouTube from yesterday at Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube. Uh, I don't know if I like these, this thing here. I feel like I should do something more custom I think I might be able to do like a, some stairs um, like we've got over here I might be able to do that with half foundations and have it look kind of cool because if we grabbed a foundation here and grab like a half I might be able to I can get it to the right height we might be able to do like a small set of stairs that go up there we'd have to do some sort of weird custom bit but I'm not crazy about this connection right here. Not great. I did clean up the power as well. You'll notice that we've got a power node coming in from the outside now. And that just kind of goes up here, runs underneath the stairs, and then plugs into all the machines down the line. Really not much has changed. It's just that I put a back on it. And obviously I'm still missing a couple of pieces here. Should probably fill that in. I think this is just going to be one of these triangle walls. Pretty sure that's all that is. And then I put another one going the other way. Right. I also need to work out the palette uh, and get ourselves some proper colors. We'll probably do that with the whole wheel jack thing as well. I wish that all of these were on the same. Yeah. On the same um, circular selection wheel. That would be nice. This looks really cool when the sun comes in. Get lots of. Uh, light coming in which is nice obviously this is temporary as well I should really figure out how to sort that out that goes to there where could we bring power up here inconspicuously probably in the corner would be my guess And you can't nudge these, I don't think. Oh, you can. Okay. You just have to get it to the right height.
Right, remember, you're gonna do that on its own. You can't have it connected. Rock Giant, hello, good to see you. Hope you're having a good day. And then we can usually hide this with a beam. Unless it doesn't let me. Close enough, I think. Just so it doesn't look like it's going through the floor in a weird way. You can still sort of see the power thing. Not the end of the world. Um, but that means that we can probably get rid of this now. That's the light section. So that's. Don't need that. And I don't need that. The lights are still sort of temporarily wired. So what I really need is. I guess this needs to be here. At least that's out of the way. And I don't have any railings to put there yet. Yeah, still not a fan of this little connection here. And it's very dark in here <laughs> during the nighttime. And I still haven't finished what we're doing back there yet either. So something that I was thinking about when I was taking screenshots is that this whole place does not really feel very Cybertron-like. And then I realized what I should be doing, and what I should be doing is paving paradise. I'm thinking that we should have like a minimum level of concrete everywhere. And it's going to have to be higher than that. Unfortunately, it's going to bite into the height of this build. I don't know if I like that's the new ground level. I'm not crazy about that. I might want to pull those up. Um, not that we couldn't have it be recessed at all. Uh, it's a little challenging in that we've got some spiky grass around. Uh, I don't want to necessarily be on a big four meter foundation the whole time. But in some cases we may have to. I saw Kibitz do this in the desert one time, and I thought it was really cool. Um, but this could just mean um, a nice standardized grid in the future. So I would probably keep this level, uh, and then we would just... Oh, that's on a different grid, somehow. Oh, I've used a f I used the half foundations in there to start it, but you get the idea. Is that what we could do is bring these in 
And at a certain point, if I wanted to go down, I could just go down with one of these double ramps. And if it's too low, then we use a different ramp. As long as I stay on the same grid, I should be fine. Unfortunately, I don't think I could go into a ramp here. I think the grass shows through. Well, almost. That's not terrible. So we could almost have the smelter sort of like recessed into the ground a little bit and have a ramp here. And I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna make it um, concrete, but I just think it would be neat if we did that and like encased things so like I could put a wall up here and like just have we could still use the natural landscape but then just cover stuff so that it doesn't look like it's full of grass like we could have it or I could cover the grass and leave the rock stuff sticking out in some places I don't know I just think it could be fun Sometimes these things look kind of funny. Yeah, yeah, kind of have to have the one underneath. Otherwise, it doesn't look good. It'll be a little bit tricky when we start putting belts down. That's the only thing we'd really want to try and get to this minimum height and try to do increments of four meters most of the time when possible. And I don't know whether we leave that like that. I don't think it would look good if we turned it all to the regular. That would be a little bit too grid-like. Um, when we have more plastic, we could do the other kind of foundations. We could also change the color of that. We can grab a different color and have it be something else. Um, or just change it to like Something like that. I don't know if I want a big grid everywhere. That's the only thing. It might be better to find a color that's a little bit more neutral. I've also got another texture I could unlock too. There's the um, rip metal texture. Yeah, grip metal one might be fun to do too. Four tickets. How can we start off the day with four tickets? I could wait and get the grip metal. That's one thing. Roof parts. Anything in architecture I'm waiting for? I could get the other railings. Quarter pipe might be good to get. Actually, corner ramp pack is probably what I should save up for if we're going to start paving paradise. That and, of course, I want lights. I think we need 15 tickets today if I can get it going. Just to remind me, pink is a color. That's th Thank you. I appreciate that. 
That doesn't look terrible. But unfortunately, I designed this factory thinking that it was going to be um, that high off the ground. Could either move them both up or I could just move the one up. Let's see. Either way, uh, first thing we need to do is get this rocket and rolling, and we're short on pipes. stuff. Red is sort of a pink. Or maybe we can go with a desaturated red, which is also pink. <laughs> nice. Uh, over here. And how are we doing for these? So good. I just think it'll be help. It'll help with transitioning from one place to the other. Like I think we'll just have these nice roads and things that we can work from. And if I establish that early, then it, I'll build this factory with that in mind, with a new ground level in mind. We need a hundred mortars. Everything else we are good. It's just the motors we are not doing automatically right now. I can probably do that if I can figure out a way to set up stators. We need the motors in there. Got motors on me too. Oh, wait a minute. 53. Select solid biofuel. I have a little secret canister back here. Right, so if we work on the fact that this is going to be the new, new ground level. And that automatically puts me up higher. So I'm already above where I need to be. But I gotta remember that this is gonna have this as a ground level. On the outside. So 
I maybe don't want to do um, a two meter here. I may want to do a four meter here. That might be the better way to go. And see, even over here, you'd have to go up. The question is, do I want to go up two meters or do I want to go up by four? It's only going up by one. I guess it does create some new problems. I feel like at some point we just have to grab the new, whatever we want the new height to be. Right, so I want to go higher than that. Try to get like the common denominator, I guess. Yeah, probably. Probably worth it just to go up to here. But I think that could work. We just give everything like a straight edge with an angle on it. You know, like if that's going to be the height, then like either this one or the one in front of it, we could have the um, ramps. And just use this to cover up the hill. If it works, which it doesn't. But I think we could probably create some interesting um, shapes if I did that. And I don't know, maybe we can come up with new ideas for this, otherwise we can just pave over it and not worry about it. Cut it down and move on. There are some decisions, excuse me, there are some decisions that are sort of permanent. Probably want to move that to, see, that probably has to stay there. You know, I think the dip down towards the building actually works out pretty well. It would give us an opportunity to put maybe like some lighting going up, which would be cool.
And then here we would just use probably the half foundations. It does make these look a little bit funny. But I'm not undoing that. Arknight Gaming, hello, welcome in. How's it going? Lots of atriums, yeah. Could do that too. All right, well, if that's what we're gonna do, then let's think about how this approach is gonna look then. Can I blow that up? I don't believe so. that point we might have to think about getting a little bit higher i mean really at that point i would probably just make this a little bit higher here i feel like going up in increments of two would be better two meters rather than one meter would be better This already has to go back up on the other side. I feel like that's a safer bet than this level. Lots to think about, that's for sure. Once you make that first step up, you can just easily use the top slab. Yeah, already that starts to feel a lot more like Cybertron, right? Just like angles and flat. Uh, it'll make getting around a heck of a lot easier, too. Don't have to worry about driving around rocks with the tractor and all that nonsense. Uh, I think I'm okay with having... Um, having this as the height. I don't think I want to go up by another four meters. The world grid is... I guess we should maybe have one of these be like a world grid marker. Generally speaking, if you're going up in increments of four meters vertically, your life is going to be a lot easier. Sweet Sandy, thank you for being awesome. I really appreciate the moderation help. <laughs> Little modern art <laughs> around the stuff that sticks out. That could be it too. Okay, let's... Um, let's start getting... Got motors happening, I think. Yeah, so there's our hundred motors. 
Uh, I can do the 100 beams. I can do 200 plastic. So we can actually unlock that next thing right away. So I can do plastic. Oh, it's not loading up anymore? And rubber. All right, I've got some over here. That is the next milestone. That's good. That means we can probably hook up a power generator out there and not have to worry about it. Make like a self-sufficient loop. Milestone I reached. It is my honor and privilege to inform you that the fuel power generator, as well as the industrial fluid buffer, are now available. Nice. Due to a lack of gold in your sector, Caterium will serve as a suitable replacement to construct the fuel power generator. Your research into this element was valuable. In fact, you in particular are my most valuable pioneer, but don't tell the others I said that. It would be bad for morale. Mm -hmm. You heard it here first. I'm her favorite. Petroleum power. So now we can do flu fuel power generator, industrial fuel buffer, and scan for Caterium. It's a weird place to scan for Caterium. I guess we had that unlocked in the MAM. 50 computers. Don't need those just yet. I guess we'll go with railway signaling. Pool. Uh, we also now I guess the next thing to do is to hook up power out at the refinery so we have constant plastic and rubber because that's going to be a bottleneck for computers because computers, if I recall, currently have plastic in the recipe. What do I not have here? I need rods. Cable. Then over here. And I need, I've got Caterium, got cable. Got plates, reinforced plates, rods, screws. I don't need that many screws. Plastic rubber. I don't have, I've got a few motors. I don't have very many faders or rotors. Staters are the other thing we're not making in the background, which I need to change. I think that's what I'm changing right now, as a matter of fact. Let's go with rotors. Staters, steel pipe and wire. Do I have an alt recipe for that? No. Well, I just brought over some wire, so we've got that. I do feel like the hitboxes in the first release are a little bit different. And I need to get pipes in there. You're going to make some rotors. Take more of you. Perfect. Make some more quartz while we're here. Oh, that's doing biomass. Never mind. Should be good. Um, 
What do I need to do to make a power fuel gen? Needs motors. So we'll do one of those. I'm going to need a refinery. At least. I definitely need more motors. And I want to make one of those legit, um, big fuel buffers. And they need those things. So let's do three of those. But really, it's just motors. Staters are our bottleneck. Well, Uncle, hello. How's it going? <laughs> Did Ada say that you were her favorite? Uh-oh. Problems in paradise. I guess thinking about that, the idea of putting foundations everywhere, I could also give it an edge. Like, we could make it look like a Cybertronian sort of like takeover and we could leave some stuff where it made sense you know like if I'm just not going to build over in a certain area we could create an edge to it that could be cool I need probably another 20 motors Staters, I do. Yeah, these are the things you definitely don't want to be handcrafting very much. I really should be um, automating these. We're automating rotors in the other section, but we're just not doing much for staters. I could do some staters over there with iron wire? I keep on forgetting that I do iron wire. That would be a good temporary thing to actually set up while we're gone to really stock up on staters because that seems to be a bottom mic. Yeah, let's quickly set that up then. These are, I could just take the pipes as they come through here. This is doing pipes. And that's doing overflow. I could try to add another splitter here. What's this? That's a merger. I've got a splitter there for pipes. I could put steel pipes on the back of this. So I could pull pipes out this way. Send that to another assembler. send it actually if it's gonna come out here I should put the assembler over on this side you're gonna make staters and all I need to do is just grab one of these machines and make 
wire out of it. Well, hey, look. You're a splitter there. Would be better if I wasn't pulling off of the line. Yeah, I would rather put the splitter here. And then we'll just use a lift to get that up. One, two, three, four. Iron wire. Just need some power. You're going to do staters. And now I just need to bring over the pipes. How many does it need? gonna go the wrong way. We'll just rotate that, I guess. Did I get the height wrong? I did. That's fine. So this is getting once 60 per minute. We are not making 60 per minute, I don't think. Fifty. And the splitters uh this is going into our storage, that's fine. And then we just have to put the staters somewhere. They can go in, I guess, their own bin. This is going to be slow, but it'll at least work. That will handle the overflow. I don't think we're building this fast enough that I'm going to worry about hitting a stopping point. Cool. So now we got staters at least happening in the background, slowly. Oh, wait a minute. I don't want that. Uh, I need... I need a smart splitter here.
This is what I want to connect to that. There we go. That's better. Cool. Now, did I use anything I should not have? All right. So I think what we'll do is um, we'll go out probably on foot to the... Um, to the oil place because I want to take the power out there. I think that would be worth it. So how it's probably gonna be better to take it from up there. So we'll start up there. And then I can at least ride the power poles back because I have my um zipline? Yeah. And I need my scanner. Might as well look for stuff while we're going. And then before we head out, I guess we got to check. And of course, we are out of those things. That's good. And that's all right. Finally get around to listening to the Spawn Chunks. Good show and a long one. Did I understand correctly that the next Citadel Cafe will be talking about Transformers 1? Yes. Yeah. Um, I just... I didn't get a chance to fill that in. In... Um, in September. I'm, I'm trying to get back up to at least two shows per month. For the Citadel Cafe. Uh, but... It's difficult trying to wrangle guests. Uh, I also had a very busy end of September. So... That is factory kind of jumped in there. A lot of streaming and stuff. And it was better to, to do that. That and that. And that. We should be okay for tickets. I do kind of want to put more pipes in there if I can. Again, I feel like I'm just running around constantly. And I don't need you there. So the best way I think to take the power out there is going to be to start up here and we'll use those big power poles. Yeah, I've got enough for that. It'd be cleaner, I guess, if I brought it along the coast. But it's a longer way. Almost went to see Transformers 1 last weekend, but my stepson chose the Wild Robot. Looking forward to hearing what you thought about Transformers 1 and if it's worth in to go in theater. I will tell you right now, it is 100% worth going in theater. And I think on top of just the experience, I think it's worth going in theater to encourage studios to do more like that. as it was really good. Uh, in particular, I thought the character development for Megatron specifically, but for both Megatron and, and Optimus Prime was really good. And you don't necessarily expect them to hit that. I wonder if I can take this out. I don't think there's a way to go up around there. I think the easiest way is to probably go down along the water, maybe. 
take it out that way. That's probably the straightest route rather than coming up here. Yeah, I'll go down there and we'll pull it. Do I still have to uh, jump? I think you still have to jump for the poles. Yeah. I've never been very good at the jumping for this. On the big ones, you don't have to jump. It's a cool sound effect that they have for it. I like it. So that's where the power is coming in. I feel like we can just use this pole here. Maybe we can do a little bridge over the waterfall. That's probably a good idea, yeah. I go up and down even so this is that's one meter Stream time's at an hour. Uh, we're almost at sunset, so I think I'll wait because that's cool, Sandy. It's it, The sun set like 10 minutes after I started, I think. Give or take. I think that height's pretty good. Actually, maybe we'll go up here. Blast Jordan, thanks for the lurk. Now, how big is the base of these things? Just a little bit wider. Of course it is. Forget how flashy it is when you're building up close. I don't know if they put a warning on the game to like, to say, hey, by the way, a lot of flashing lights.
I don't think. Right, let's do that. So we'll just put one extra out there, maybe. Now, oh, how much cable did I bring? Not enough. Tickets. Did not bring a lot of cable. So one thing that I was supposed to bring. Uh, Bally says Transformers is a really nice nostalgia for me. Remember sneaking down straight on the weekends as a kid to see G.I. Joe and Transformers? Totally. Um, in case you didn't know, Bally, because I think you're sort of new to the community, um, I used to work as an animator. I, I went to school for art and I worked in animation um, for years. Uh, I was 20 years professional artist before switching over to podcasting and streaming. Now, the good question is, how far can I go with this? Uh, I want to go up here. Too uneven, that's fine. I have to get up there, though. Okay, so we can go quite far with this. I don't think that's going through the water. It may be about here. You can really send it. Like, this could be very, very far. But somewhere around here is probably good. just can't see them. I wish that you could have like adjust your camera sometimes. Kind of goes through the trees, but not bad. And then we just have to figure out where we're going through here, which is, I want to say, straight. I may have to drop this. Maybe we'll drop it to like a single, single pole to get across the, the lagoon here. Oh yeah, we'll have to do another big one. Oh, that only gets us to here. Okay. I thought this was going to get us farther.
I need to double check this. Like, do I have these guys on retaliate or passive? I know that the spitter shoot at me. Yeah, they're on retaliate. Good to see you, Dan. Hope you're having a good day. Now I just have to get this as far as I can with regular power poles. Invalid aim location. Too long. Get you somewhere along here. Too long. Too long. defeats the purpose of using the big poles if I can't really use them that much. We'll be okay once we get out on the on the beach. I think I'll put one up here and then from here probably down to one on the beach. And now we just have to do a straight shot out that way. Why does that not feel centered? There it is. Too long, maybe? I always try to do that little scoot jump when I'm going uphill, and it always trips me up. And this will do. about making a nice platform next time.
Doesn't take up as much cable as I thought it was going to. And we're almost here. Does that go through that? I can't tell. Oh no, it goes underneath it. Nice. Actually, I should change... Can I change that? Can I replace that? Oh, I can. Beautiful. I'm going to do one more. Over here. And then the night was here, exactly. Uh, so the good news is, we now have... Um, I need to know what the power consumption is on this, though. It doesn't tell me. Max consumption is 100 megawatts. We must have 100 megawatts, surely. Yeah. Now, all of this should be powered, and I do not need any of this other stuff. Sweet. Uh, we will just empty these fluid buffers. Oh, they each have to be done. Guess I should have done the full network. So that will do some plastic while we wait. Uh, I will come up here folks to watch the night sky on my break there's a good vantage point I guess this was a good one last time and I will be back in about five to seven minutes I usually take a break about once an hour if you're new and uh, just give me a chance to grab another cup of coffee I'll be right back
sunrise and planet rise on the west coast. Alright, so what do we need to do out here to make this more viable? We are sending plastic and rubber up. This is going constantly now because of the power, uh, but this is filling up. So the first thing we need to do is figure out if I can use a refinery to use up the heavy oil residue. Heavy oil residue, residual plastic. That is made from water and polymer resin. Petroleum coke is made from heavy oil residue. Uh, fuel. That needs crude oil. Residual fuel. Ah, residual fuel. This is. I don't know whether this is an alt recipe or whether this is something that they gave us. Residual fuel. We use heavy oil residue, 60 per minute, and it pumps out fuel. That's probably the easiest one to do because it doesn't require an awesome sink. Although if we do an awesome sink, we could also get points. Uh, what is this? Petroleum Coke is 40. This is going to be 60 and liquid biofuel. All right, we might want to do that back at the base. Uh, 60 per minute. How much are we exporting here? 20. Oh, maybe petroleum coke is going to be the way to go. And 10. Yeah, petroleum coke is going to be the way to go. Six, unless I want to do power. We could use the bump in power. 40 per minute. 120. Residual fuel, so it's 40 per minute. What does a fuel generator take? I'm so used to these things. We've got 400 of these in my other playthrough. Uh, it doesn't tell you what the fuel is going to be. Does it tell you in the wiki thing? The wrong thing. They really need proper like tab functions in these menus. So many people that play Satisfactory use spreadsheets, and the fact that the spreadsheet like tabbing over to each um, entry field doesn't work. Fuel generator produces sixty per minute. Consumes fuel. Does not tell me. It's all right. We'll go the old-fashioned way. Fuel. 20 cubic meters per minute. Twenty per minute. And this is going to make... 40 per minute, so this will give me an extra 750 megawatts? No, power is 250. So I'll get another 500 megawatts with just two of those. I don't have enough motors to build two of those. I don't think. No, I can make more motors. That's fine. Uh, I guess we'll go with fuel. Why not? We're just going to loop this around. So this will have to have the inputs on the other side, like that. This is going to make residual fuel heavy oil residue, so all I need to do is just send this the other way. this up to power. I'll come down the other way for that.
You're doing fuel, so we'll make you yellow. And hey, the lights on this is working. That's good. And then we just need to send you out to power generators. I'm hitting all the wrong hotkeys today. There's a lot of, well, so the thing is, you could hook up one, um, you could hook up one fuel generator and it would tell you in the menu, it's just that the machines unfortunately don't tell you what they consume until you have them hooked up to a source. Memory serves, these are three by three, I want to say, or they fit on a three by three space anyway. up just a little bit more room. So we've not transitioned to fuel power, but we'll at least get a start on it. This is where I need to make more motors. Normally I've got a um, trail uh, tractor out here with me. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on today. I feel like my hand is just in the wrong position, but I keep on hitting all the wrong buttons. Like my pinky is got a mind of its own. I'm glad we automated stators before we left. Stators seems to be a bottleneck here. future proof it so those are going to be doing fuel uh, the power thing is on the back annoyingly At least it's in the middle. That will hook those up to the grid. And they're just gonna produce. I just need to hook up the oil residue. Turn these pipes 
Get away. Uh, this is just going to need its own little thing here. And this should burn more than enough. I guess I could leave those hooked up. Don't know whether we need to. So just to double check the math, this is doing 20 heavy oil residue per minute. This is doing 10 heavy oil residue per minute for a total of 30. This is going to take this so we can actually reduce this to 50%. So it's only going to make 20 fuel per minute. So the trick is going to be to make sure that we have enough generators, right? So this is consuming 20 per minute. And this is making 20 per minute. So maybe I, I've put too many. I've put, we don't need the second generator it's not going to be able to power itself. Twenty per minute, two hundred and fifty. We're almost at two thousand now. This is just going to take a second to fill up. I should get rid of this. Thirty per minute to make twenty. As long as these aren't backing up, then we should be good. I guess we'll know whether these pipes fill up. It might be worth, you know, sticking a fluid buffer in between these guys, just in case. I could be make one of those industrial size ones. So I could take this around the back. EMP subscribing with Prime 15 months in a row. Thanks ever so much. Sorry, I missed that a couple minutes ago. I was doing math. Long time no talk, says EMP. Uh, yes, indeed. It hasn't been a while. But thanks. Great to see you. And thank you so much for the support. That's very kind. Are you in the Discord? I hope you're in the Discord. You can certainly do that now with the Prime. It's coffee time. I don't know if I raised a glass today. Cheers, pioneers. That novelty mug has no business being such a good mug to drink out of. It's a really good mug. That's full, but it's not centering. And this is just going. I think we can leave it. I guess the thing to do would be to, to stitch in one of the small ones, just in case. That's probably the better way to do it. But I'll put a little one in here.
So this shouldn't ever have to fill up, but it might. Okay, so that takes care of our plastic and rubber. That's constantly going to be building up now. We are set here if we need more. I can see if this is... That's not backing up at all. So if we ever need a big chunk of stuff, we can get it that way. And I think we're good. Seems simple. Yeah, that's not backing up. So I think we're okay. Nice. Oh, I should use this method of getting home. Now, I'm pretty sure I don't have to jump on these. We can just cruise. Do you have overflow protection on the plastic and rubber if those storages get full? No. So I guess the thing to do there would be awesome sink. Good call. Good call. need smart splitters on these, right? AI limiter. Do I have enough to make an AI limiter? What, what, what did the AI limiter use? Wasn't that? What did I use an AI limiter for? I could have sworn I had one. Huh. We're getting into the point where I could probably use some quick wire facilities, but we need to have access to this plastic first. I just took a second to realize that that seagull kite noise was, was in the game, because <laughs> we get seagulls around here all the time. Oh, come on. That's very accurate. Okay, so... Um, this should be overflow, and this should be plastic. Well, that can just be any, right? And then this should be overflow this way. I think so? I might just be able to send that right in there. Especially if I do, what is this, plastic? If I make this plastic... Oh, this is a splitter, not a murder. Never mind. Uh, yeah. It would be overflow, any, none. And this is none, any, overflow. And then what the rates of this is slow. This is mark one. I'll just do this. 
not going to be pretty. We're at 10. That's good. I just need to double check what these guys are doing to make sure that belt is fast enough. This is doing 20 plastic. I think it's probably doing 20 rubber. Yeah, so we're good. That should be fine. Now we're good. Thank you for the reminder. Appreciate it. So the temporary oil facility is at least up and running. The next thing would be to get a way for it to have a lot of that material come back. And I think I'd wait for a train for that. Now we can forget about it for a long time? Yeah. It's a pain in the butt to come out here. I feel like that the oil junction in the game, depending on where you start, um, this is not terribly far from the rocky desert, um, but all the other places, oil is nowhere nearby. And this is not nearly as fast as I wish it was, too. It's effortless. Except I have to drink my coffee with the other hand. <clears throat> Hypertubes are probably the fastest, yeah. As far as hands-free, you're right. I think we can run with the Blade Runners faster than this. And that's why I don't like that method, when you have to jump from thing to thing. Not the best. Well, on the way back, let's at least get the scanner out. I guess this is probably the fastest way. Oh, there's a Mercer Sphere nearby somewhere. There, probably. Any place that looks like a pain in the butt to get to. Oh no, here it is here. leaving it. Our blood will eat, build, teach. I have no use for blood. You do. Consume. Bruh. Interesting. That's creepy. So we'll need the Mercer Spheres for additional depots. there's a cave I would say it's probably over this way 
Hello, slug. It's gonna be hard to get to. Go to the next one. Man, hi. I don't think I can make that, you know? So we're going to use the foundations. anything visible while we're up here that we could coast down to. Don't see anything. Some more quartz maybe? Plus, I can kill the, the beastie here and get some tickets. Where are you? There you are. Oh! He retaliated. I haven't turned the creatures down, they're a little loud. That's fine, we don't need that. Don't see anything. We've already been around there. Alright. Go. You forget how high this map really is. Some nuts. I wish you could hold down the button and eat the nuts. The fact that you have to click repeatedly is a little, little annoying. They've made them um, more passive in in 1.0. They seem to run away more. Maybe that was the feedback from early players was that they're a little bit too too aggressive. Where did it go? Oh, there it is there. Yeah, there's a lot of high places to climb on. I agree.
I think we've got all the Mercer spheres around here. I don't even really think there were that many. Yeah, this looks really cool now. I'm really happy with the changes we made yesterday. So we need 50 computers to unlock railway signaling. The rest of that we should be able to do on our own. We are out of the good Sam stuff. We'll get a good, maybe a ticket or two out of that. We now have nine of those. You done? You're done. Lots of plastic and rubber, that's good. And where do we stop? Pipes, probably, or... No, it's the um, reanimated sand. We're up to 11. Yeah, the packaged biofuel is what I use on the Devastator save as well. So I'm gonna now that we've got a little extra power, I'm gonna look at that as well. That would be a refinery here somewhere. More temporary stuff. I'd have to set it up over there. I'm really trying to get myself out of this temporary space. I want to get moved over there as best I can. So the mission was to um, get motors automated. And I think what we'll do now is we'll put, this could be doing something. I guess I could just put more pipes in there. So I did stators and I've got rotors. So what I didn't do over here was hook up a temporary motor situation. So that should be pretty easy. I don't know how many rotors we're making. It's probably not a lot. Don't We don't tend to use stators for that much. Yeah, they're only used in that. I don't think they're used in much as far as um, buildings. No, they're not. So we don't need them to build a base. They're just for basically, at this point, just motors is really all I need them for. So I don't need to store all that many of them. So, I could just have 
another one of these. You could make motors. Are you staters? You are staters. Yep. Get this up and over. Actually, that should be fine. need staters. This is a smart splitter and this is going any and overflow. So let's do Oh, come on. And that means that motors are being automated. Excellent. Slowly, and that's fine. So that means I can actually rip out some of that stuff over there, which is part of the mission today is to try and clean up that area. Right, so we are no longer making motors, so I can... Over, I don't need to make motors over here. I don't think I need the assembler for anything other than maybe, like, AI limiters manually. But I think we're okay for that. We've got lots of biofuel. We're making staters now, so yeah, I can just... I can get rid of this. That. That. That's a lot of stuff in there, probably, yeah. That's fine. Um, Biofuel canister. And what's this? This is this is our copper. So this is all copper that currently does not have another home. That's gonna stay here and that's fine. Uh, I don't need that. I don't think I need this anymore either. So then it's just the awesome sink container and that's all still set up here until we get the right amount of tickets. Perfect. So really, I think the next step is going to be doing some calculations and figuring out what we're going to do for steel over here. And we're definitely, I definitely want to go with the logistics floor, so we're probably going to have to have the entrance to this be a little bit higher, would be my guess. 
uh, because if I remember correctly, we've got, yeah, we got a rock here. Not that that would be a big deal. So I could have the list just explore on this level and that would get us back on the four meter in increments. So maybe that's what we do. Use this as like a logistics floor. And then the next. Oh no, wait a minute. I'd want at least six meters for a logistics floor. So that works out well, because that puts the next floor up there. Yeah, so if we do this here. That's why I like having one of these nearby. So that will be the production floor for what we do in this factory. Okay. So the next thing is really looking at what we're going to do for, um, I guess, all the math. So I was going to do 10 motors a minute, but it, it's wild. Like it really starts to eat up a lot of the resources and I don't think we need 10 motors a minute. So if I was to, uh, where's a good place to par park it? Oh man, I'm out of fuel, am I? I put all of my fuel in the storage. I forgot to take a stack for myself. Oh, package fuel, right. Package fuel needs water, doesn't it? The closest water is up on the hill. Up there. Twelve. Let's take a look at the old spreadsheet here. So previously I had sorted this out for what I wanted to do in my starter factory. So I was going for 10 motors a minute. Um, and that was to try and do something for the space elevator because we need the motors for the, um, the other kind of motor the space elevator part this one modular engine uh, this takes two motors per minute we need 500 of those so we need a thousand motors so it's like how many hours you want to spend waiting but I just this just starts to get really large like four assemblers there's eight assemblers for rotors and stators six assemblers for industrial beams like we I don't think we have the power for all of this so I feel like I might just take the motors down to one assembler and have it go to storage um, and then we can amplify that temporarily to kind of brute force the elevator and then go from there a crew gaming thanks for the follow appreciate it so if we're going to do five motors a minute what i should do actually is copy this sheet i'm going to duplicate this and we're going to call it the five motor so I'll have all my math from the 10 and keep it. Five motors per minute. I find this is usually the best way to go is you go backwards. Um, so this is really going to be um, one assembler. And if I remember correctly, yeah, production rate is five per minute in an assembler. 
so we can change these. Wait a minute. Did I have that those numbers wrong? We're doing five motors per minute. If I was doing 10 motors per minute, do I need 10 stators? I The recipe only gives you... Um, I don't like that this tool in game doesn't give you per minute on the inputs. It gives you per minute on the output. You have to go into the machine to look at it. Yeah, 10 and 10 goes down to 5. Okay, so 10 and 10 goes down to 5. That's right, I want... That's... Two and two and one. So I, the way that I've got the sheet set up is not the clearest. This should be 10. This should be two. And this should be one. And then this should be five. Output five motors per minute. So then we only need 10 rotors per minute. I gotta take another break soon too. 10 staters per minute. So that just cuts this in half. So 10 there, 10 there. Oh, crap. So that means if I pop back in here quickly and we look at the recipe for staters, it makes five and it's 40 and 15. So it makes five, we need 10. So I need two assemblers. Um, instead of 60, it's only gonna be 30. Instead of 160, it's only gonna be 80. Right, so you take the number, you guys see my mouse? Yeah, yeah I think so. Um, so you take the number of inputs per minute multiplied by the assembler means that it's gonna take 30 and 80. So this is going to be 80 and we just have to work this back to steel. Uh, so that's 80 wire and then steel pipes is going to be 30. Cool. Uh, night is falling in game. Yes, you're right. So we should step away here. Even if it's a little dark when I come back, I can still work on the spreadsheet, so we should be fine. Uh, let's go up to the Summer Sloop Power Augmenter for the break. Cool. Give me a few minutes, folks, and I will be right back if I don't fall off. You can't stand on that. Oh, you can. Okay, cool. Right on. Be right back.
All right. A little bit more time on the spreadsheet just to kind of get our numbers right. I think we should be okay. Uh, so we only need 10 staters and 10 rotors. Uh, then we should now be able to grab this should be down to two that this should be down to 20 this will be down to 60 I'll double check that of course Rotors. Uh, I have the alternate recipe for rotors. If I remember correctly. Uh, hard drives. Steel rotor. That's the one that we want. Double check my sheet. Steel rotor alt. Yep. Reward, thank you. What are we out of pipes? Do we have enough tickets? I mean, we never have enough tickets, but... 13. Yikes. Every time I feel like I want to make progress at this stage of the game, I feel like phase three is just this long process of like getting yourself set up to make stuff. Uh, I'll just take all of those. Have we made any motors? Oh yeah, so I like this is just doing 15% five per minute. So I feel like one constructor doing five per minute is plenty for our starter factory. I feel like the the problem with Satisfactory is um, that every player experiences, and it's not necessarily a fault of the game, it's just like how the game is set up, is that you don't know what you don't know, so you, you don't know how many motors to make. They say you should make motors, but you just don't know how many you should make, you know? So steel rotor is 10 pipes per minute and 30 wire, and we're gonna do 10 rotors. So it's gonna be 20 and 60. I think that's what the sheet said. 20 and 60, so that's 20, and now 60. And this no longer needs to be something crazy here. So we are only gonna do Do I need 18 reinforced iron plates a minute? Probably not. Really all I'm worried about is the steel. So I've got 20 and 30. So now I just have to figure out how many assemblers do I want to make doing industrial beams. I think we can, again, we can probably do half of that or maybe four. The problem with this alternate recipe for the beams, whoops, is, um, don't know if I have it unlocked. Oh, I do, case industrial pipe. Um, this is a weird number, 24 per minute. So 80. Probably 83 repeating would be my guess. Yeah. So that goes to 20, but then that goes to 16.777. This is, that's a better number for steel pipes than it is for this. 
So the, the problem is that the common denominator between that these two numbers is not great. Unless you're making a lot of steel beams. Uh, I think the simple answer says A group gaming is that you're never making enough. Well, that's fair. <laughs> it's like it's like how Cosmic and Sandy feel about pink in my chat. Do you have enough pink in the in the builds, Joel? The answer is always no. Yeah, that's accurate. Um, but yeah, the encased industrial beams, we have to turn those into heavy modular frames later. Um So yeah, I guess we could look at that quickly. That's the other thing. Can I build a manufacturer? I don't have enough motors. Did I leave any motors over here? I don't think I did. Now we're gonna into the stage where my motors and storage is all separate. Like I've got some stuff over on the other side and some stuff here. Not enough space. Oh, whoops. It's not your fault. It's not our fault that you don't use enough pink. Gappy the guy says hello. Hope you're all doing well. Just came by to say greetings. Uh... I'm doing good for your knowing. Oh, good. Glad to hear it. Thanks for the lurk. Appreciate you being here. How many folks are hanging out today? Oh, nice. If you're uh, new to the channel and you want to bring in a friend, we're always trying to uh, bring in new eyeballs to the channel. There's a post out on Twitter and another one out on Instagram stories. It's all at Joel Duggan. Very easy to find. I have a heavy modular frame alternate as well. There's no screws in that one. I just don't know how many encased industrial beams. This is 10 per minute. What is the alt recipe? I think I have it unlocked. No, I don't. Okay, I don't know that one off the top of my head. That one will require the wiki. The one that I want has no screws. It's this one. And it's 9.375 per minute. We'll say 9 for the sake of argument. Yeah, I did this in my other playthrough and it was really good. So we want at least 20 beams and we're making 24. So that's probably what we want to do. That's probably going to stay the same. So 24 times six is still 144. Okay. So then, uh, we'll have 144, 30, and 20 is 50. So that's 194. So this is going to be above 194 to have like a little bit of extra storage. Oh, no, sorry. There's also the assemblers here for modular frames. What did that need for modular frames? Eight per minute, so 16. Yeah, that stays the same. So what did I say, 40? That's 90 plus 144. 234, so we'll probably do 250 is what we need for steel pipes minimum and that's in just a constructor so we can pop back over to the game 
Grab a constructor. And I'm doing steel pipe. Yep. Steel pipe. So that's 20 per minute. And I needed 250. Twenty twelve point five. I remember that number now. So I could do fourteen constructors. How am I still needing the same amount? That seems strange. Maybe I started doing this. Maybe I started scaling down and didn't register it on the sheet. Apparently checked up for longer than I thought. What is the spreadsheet? Oh, Rock Giant, this is um, my starter factory for storage. Oh, we're going with five motors a minute as kind of like the, the, the top thing right now. And I feel like I might have to dial back on this. Forty-eight pipes per minute. If I only did two here, that would really lower the demand. All right, let's just list the stuff here. We've got twenty pipes a minute going into an assembler for rotors. I've got thirty pipes a minute going into a stators. I've got. Let's put these over here. So rotor, data, encased beams, and what was the other one? Modular frame. Because modular frames, do they need screws? Steeled frame. Do I have the steel frame recipe? Reinforced place and rods. So this still doesn't need screws. I'm just deciding to use steel for it because that's what we've got going on in the spreadsheet. Don't know if I have that alt recipe. I might. Flexible frame. Modular frame. I don't have that recipe unlocked yet. I guess it doesn't really matter because... Oh, I've got the wrong... What happened there? Oh, I hit the map. Sorry. Um, yeah, so... This is reinforced iron plates and iron rods. I don't actually have that recipe in this spreadsheet. So... This doesn't actually need... Steel. This needs rods from up there and that's a lot easier to do okay so modular frames are reinforced iron pipes and rods so then really it's just a matter of yeah there's no more steel it's just one two Three plus storage. So, and then storage. Beam storage. Um, cased in beams needs 24 or 48. Multiples of 24. So let's just go 48. And that's 98. Plus whatever. So like 120 beams per minute. And that is 120 would be good because it's a multiple of 20. That should that would give us enough wiggle room. What about um, equals 24 times three? 
72. That's 122. Let's go with 48. So this will be two assemblers. Um, so that means this is going to be 48. And this is going to be 40. It's going to be really easy to do. And then this is going to be so this changes to 40 steel pipes oh no that's gonna be wrong so then we've got no 48 steel pipes that's the wrong one 48, so 48 there, 30 and 20, for a total of 98. And we'll just make 120 just to have it. So we're gonna make 120, which is six constructors with no underclock or overclock. Simplifies that. Uh, and then 30 times six is 300. So we'll be doing 120 out here. Minus the 20, minus the 30. That's 100, so this is gonna be 70. And then 70 minus 48 is 22. Yeah. So we'll have 22 steel pipes a minute going into storage and overflow. Those tend to be used a lot for rails, so that's fine. Okay, so that means our constructors, uh, they're only gonna need 300 steel ingots a minute. That's good. We could make as many as 480 on the belts that we have. Um, more steel ingots needed for other production. Maybe better to do, do more steel elsewhere beams and just make extra pipes from this. So we should be fine. I don't have, I do have an extra recipe for steel beams. It is not unlocked yet, but I do have it. So that's 60 steel ingots to 15. Um, the other one I think goes with concrete. 60 steel ingots to 15. Uh, what was copied from the Devastator calculations? Oh, I don't know. Um, this one. Oh, come on. So this is the problem. I'm typing M for beam in here and it's bringing up the map. So they've got some, they've got some menu issues still in the game. Steam copper sheet, quick restator, silicon circuit board. Oh, maybe I don't have the steel. Um, Oh, it's called something else. Or I, oh, you know what it was? It was probably attached to one of the other things that I needed. And it's no longer in my library. Okay, well for now, we'll just proceed with the regular steel beam recipe, which is 60 ingots to 15. At some point you just have to say like, I'm just gonna roll with what I've got. 16 gets to 15. Um, we're making 300 at least 
for these constructors. 300 goes down to 120. Um, so really all I need to do is just find a, a multiple of 60 that works for this. Um, probably 360. If I did 360 here, I just don't know what beams are going to be used for. Uh, steel ingot. Where's the beam? Steel beam. We don't need that. Um, steel screw alt. Just used in build buildables. Uh, and then the one that I thought I had was the molded beam, but I think I, I selected something else. And that's fine. So we might have an option to do that later. We've got lots of steel potential, so that's not an issue. So this will be 60. I think it's a minute. Um, that's going, that's one constructor. Uh, and that's going to be 15 beams a minute going to storage. So depending on how this works out here, we might up that. So that's six foundries. That's actually a good number. Not underclocked. 40 and 40. This is the alt solid steel. So it just... Should be... 400, right? No, 240? Yep, yeah. 6 times 40, 240. So that's only 240 iron ingots out of our 900 that we're using. And we could always increase that to 420 if we needed to. So I've got 15 beams a minute. And what did I say the storage was? 22 pipes. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, so that means that we can start because now, now I know I need six foundries to start the steel production that will lead to this other stuff. Cool. That was the number I needed. So we're going to, I think, bring the iron in over here. Or the iron, not the, not the iron, the coal. So the coal is coming in from over there, but we can bring it in kind of like in this area. I think like right along here would be good. And I already know my height, which is currently six meters above this space. So if I come over here, I think that's what I decided, right? Because that gets us back on the two meter or the two foundation height. 
Right, and I can always drop this if I needed to. We found that we need more room. Because the tricky thing with foundries is that they got the double inputs. So it would make sense for the foundries to be in here. Unfortunately, I set my temporary um, setup here at the wrong place. We're probably doing okay for this anyway. This is wall. Actually, this is what I had for the factory floor. So really it's just going to be a matter of moving these foundries up, 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 up a little bit because um, we could bring the coal in from this side and run it this way and then bring the iron in from over there and run it that way and that could be fine. I also want to leave enough room here for some logistics and some design. I'd like to be able to see the iron come in I think. I think that would be fun. So I'm going to need six boundaries, and they are, how, how big are these guys now? They sort of fit on a foundation. They're longer. However, when you try to snap them to one another, they do not fit. They're like one and a half. Should be enough room for a belt. Yeah. Hard to center it. Might want to nudge that a little bit the other way. If we needed to run anything in between, we could. So I'd say two foundries for every two and a half foundations. So then we've got 2.5 times three, seven and a half. So at least eight foundations. Plus some logistics. All right, so that was the wall. Some decor. remember why exactly I had it over here. I guess it's the distance from that thing. Yeah. So wall logistics. First machine would go here. And 
and that's where I think we'll do the steel. The hitboxes used to be smaller, Sandy. We used to be able to jam all these machines a lot closer to one another, and something changed. And I don't know what that something was, but something did absolutely change. Okay, so that's going to be... This is going to be logistics. I think. Subfloor. Wait a minute, I can do the logistics down below. Right. I just wanted to have depth in the wall. So the logistics can basically stay almost where they are. I mean, we'll, we'll redo them, but the position of them is about right. I keep on forgetting that I'm going to be up here. Alright, so that's the wall with some depth. And then this is the walkway. And then that's where the machines are going to be. So this will have probably floor holes. Actually, that's probably about right. It gives us a little room on this side as well. Kind of center the machine on the center of the two bits. Okay, I think I can work with that. Uh, I just have to figure out what I'm going to do up here. If the logistics are going to be down below, I just need to figure out what we're going to do for the actual like pathing up here. Because this will be up here like this. Ish. So I'd want to be a little bit higher and maybe have like a path or something. So if you were snapped to a floor hole, could I then have like a walkway? over top of you? I probably could. have it in between. I think that actually works. Sometimes it's about solving the space problems before you have them. Okay. So then underneath here, this will be the same logistics. So really, it's not going to be too, too different. It's just a matter of making it a nicer looking setup than what we currently have. Okay, well I think what we can do then is um, start to rip some of this out and start to think about placement. So for that I'm going to need a little bit more space in my inventory. Oh, 
Also, can I like brute force some computers right now? Circuit board, cable, and plastic. Don't think I have a lot of circuit boards. I think I have to make circuit boards first. Those are an assembler. Those are an assembler. We're out of pipes again. Hey, there's our 15 tickets. I'm trying to remember what I needed those for. I think it was the foundation corners. I don't know if I've mentioned, uh, we're making um, the new factory is going to look like Wheeljack. I got to move my camera to see that vehicle, but so those are the colors and the, the shapes we're going to be working with, I think. So that's why when I'm in here looking, like I'm looking at these angles, thinking like those would be pretty good. And those are the cart. And I think I just want to unlock the other signs. Like I think it's the small billboard and the large billboard. I could go with floodlights. Don't need those windows. They're not very transformer like. Modern railing, industrial railing. I could just buy how much can I buy can I buy computers? Six tickets for fifty. No, I'm not gonna buy computers. Organization. I might need those wall mounts, but that would be easy to come by later. What do we think, chat? Um, billboard sign? Do I go with another finish, like an unpainted finish? Or do I, go, like, it's billboard sign, or I go with schematic uh, for the um, grip metal foundation? I could also get the coat of concrete. We do have plastic coming in on a regular basis now. That's pretty decent. Metal roof, I don't think it's going to be what we want. Oh, do I want the signs that bad? Or do we take that extra 10 tickets and get all kinds of stuff? Shapes before, before materials? Yeah. Let's... Yeah, maybe we'll go with lights instead. Easier to change materials and shapes are in place. That is 100% correct, yeah. So I can get the materials, or the grip metal... I'm really, it's more about the, the lights. Oh, I wanted the quarter pipes because there's some round stuff, I think. Does he have kind of round? Yeah. He always seems to have round parts on him. So those would be good. Uh, we are past our 15. We're at 13. Okay. Inverted corner. That might be handy, but... Okay, don't need anything in architecture. Don't need anything in walls. I've got two tickets left. I feel like... I ditch, maybe ditch the grip metal. Oh, sorry, I'm going wheeljack, thank you. Um, I mean, really all I was doing is scrolling around the store. So I think if I ditch the grip metal, I can get the, I can get the floodlights. And then I can get the barrier, and the barrier is gonna help me do like customized stuff.
I wanted the signs to try to complete um, the, the Ironhide factory, though. Right. Floodlights. Street lamp. Barrier. Mat 20. I need to ditch 5. I'd say I woefully ditch the grip metal. And we go with function and bang for buck. Decision made. Did I make all of my alien stuff? I think I did. Yeah. So, I don't know really what I'm going to do for a door. I'd like it to be an archway, I think. I don't know why I chose this particular spot. I feel like we might want to go with four wide. That or two wide. Give us some depth. I also had this space kind of mapped out as well. So I feel like the central storage should be somewhere in this area. I really don't think I want to do something that's too wide. Maybe you should move this over. the middle. A decent amount of space. Sweet Sandy, thank you for squashing all of the bots. This would be a little bit more room on this side too. It would be good and it completely eliminates the rock. Yeah, I think that's better. So that is not going to be building. This is the edge. I wanted to have some planks cool for all this stuff to be seen, so... Maybe I don't want to have a logistics floor. Hmm. Basically up here I want to have like a long tunnel of containers and each one is going to have a dimensional depot on it. I feel like I could do that at the back maybe. The idea is that with Wheeljack, um, just the, kind of like the cool shape of his head, I thought it would be kind of neat to have like this be almost like uh, an atrium type place where like we'd have things going down the middle. So this would be like a place that I could like walk through, drive through, and then we'd have like stuff happening on this side and then stuff happening on this side. Although there's a lot more, a lot more happening on this side. Maybe the entrance should run that way. I feel like it's the the shape is longer. Oh yeah, it runs longer that way, doesn't it? Maybe we could make it more like a T. Let's 
six of these goes to there. We could turn them the other way. We could have the eight running this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that way everything could just run down the factory that way? I don't know. Low 88 subscribing with Prime 16 months. Another month, another Prime sub. Thanks ever so much for using your Prime sub on my channel. I really appreciate it. That's fantastic. They're a great way for folks out there to support your favorite creators. You get a free Prime sub if you've got Amazon Prime. And uh, again, Lo, I'm flattered that you use that on me. Thank you. Hope you're enjoying the Discord. Um, folks, if you want to join the Discord, you can do that with a Prime sub or a Tier 1. Or you can look at patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. It's another way, great way to do it. I feel like I'm doing a lot of standing around and talking and not a lot of doing. A lot of decisions being made or not being made. I hate redoing stuff. That's why I'm so pensive when it comes to starting the layouts. I feel like the logistics floor is probably going to be good for us. It's, this is probably big enough that I'm not going to need to do multiple floors. Like, there's probably only going to be two. And that should be it. Kind of like the idea of... Maybe this being a T. And we'll go from there. Maybe the factory will have like a side entrance, another side entrance maybe. Where would that end up? Oh, that works out pretty well. As like a exit over here. Yeah. Okay. Customizer is your friend when you're planning stuff for like temporarily labeling things. That could be working to our advantage. Okay. Don't worry, I need to rip out all my early factories. Made some huge layout mistakes. Oh, I, I've already done that. I've already done the early factory rip out. Like this is the, I want this to be something that stays. Like I'm not ripping out that Ironhide factory, even if I'm not happy with it. It's just, I'm using this playthrough as a way to kind of like build, um, build up our um, inventory. And I don't think I'm going to bother with blueprints for this. I feel like it's probably going to be faster to just do this on my own. I could do one. I could do one smelter. That would probably save me a little bit of time. So yeah, what do we got? We got a six meter, six meter ceiling, single smelter, bottom fed, and I was going to center it on the two meter foundation. Be another uh, blueprint that I can put on Patreon for folks can do that too. for this. Don't know why those snap to the bottom. It's really dumb. This is not high enough. Let's 
it's fine. Now, is it in the middle? I guess it doesn't really matter. I think that's where I wanted it. Either way, the floor hole has to be in a weird spot. in a minute here too yeah I might I might want to nudge that back just to give it more space I can nudge it in the placement of it that's fine This is going to be solid steel 40 and 40. So these are cool with being Mark 1s. Why are you not that big? I'm going to save this real quick before I go on break. Solid uh, uh and Hello. Production. Smelting. Yeah, you know what? I think it would go there too. We'll go with a foundry. Color. Maybe we'll go with coal. Making steel. Can always change this stuff later. Foundation smart logistics. Cool. All right. Once again, folks, I need to take a short break. I will be back in about seven minutes. No. Oh. Oh. Just. I almost made it. I landed on the power thing. <laughs> Give me a few minutes, folks. I will be right back.
Okay. Should be able to finish up this blueprint pretty quickly. A lot easier to do when you can see what you're doing as well. So we can run everything underneath in the middle. Uh, I'm gonna need... I like to do this temporarily. Just kind of see where the things are gonna be. So that's gonna be... I guess we could push that that way. There's no need for it to be super compact. Splitters are going to be coming in from this direction. And if memory serves, this should be the right height for that. Yep. So that's easy to do. I'll just redo these connections. That's going to be coal and iron going that way. And then this is going to be the out now. Do I guess I could wrap it around, couldn't I? It's going to be a merger. hoping to kind of show off some of the stuff that's happening. I don't want the factory to just be empty all the time. This is going to need a big belt, so it would look cool. I wonder if there's a way... In previous stuff on Devastator, I used like this space for a belt. That could be kind of cool. To have the steel come back around. How would I do that? I do that manually, I guess. Because it's only eight smelters or eight foundries. And then I just have to think about power. I also, I liked what um, Total Eclipse does a really cool build where he wraps the stuff up around. That's really compact as well and doesn't require a logistics floor. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll try this. If not, I can always change my mind. Um, power, power, power. Where are you plugged in here? There you are over there. Oh, right. I remember how much of a pain this is now because when I wrap it underneath the lines, maybe we'll do the power above the this boundary. Jeez. Auto save when you're, when you're using the jetpack is something else. You're like, maybe I could have a beam running down this thing and we could use that as the power. kind of central there. Don't know if I like that. I think these things have smoke that comes out the top of them.
With this, I'd probably want this to go even with the, whatever the foundation is. So I'd want to use a wall here. So all I'm thinking is that we could use this for the power. That's pretty st spot on. These, they never line up where you want them to. It's really annoying. Usually what I do is I power everything from below so you can hide it, but it becomes a little bit problematic with this. I could run it down here instead. And then just run this out somewhere where we can see it. That's probably what I like better. And then we could even hide this maybe. I've done this before. Where it just sort of hides the hides the controller and then maybe we build a frame around that. I think that's the right spot. But right, it's not very transformery, but it's fine. There's going to be another one on two and a half foundations. I wasn't putting them like right up against each other. There's a bit of space. So we could try that, see how it lines up. Still gonna have to do all the belt work and that's fine. The embrace of the non-alignment power con connections? Oh man. You embrace them? Wow. You're more powerful than I am. I kinda wanna do like an angle here. That's even possible. Oh, 
whatever. There's going to be eight of them, so if it's not amazing, then we can always delete them. Maybe this could be the fatter pillar, and then the other one could connect. We'll have to test this, I think. And I'm going to leave... No, I'm not going to leave these in there. So then it's just a matter of color. Now, uh, Wheeljack has got like the green and the... Um, I kind of want to do white. Like I think we do white and red. Or maybe we do red. We could do green for the outputs. Red for the inputs, maybe. Yeah, that could be cool. So we have a Transformers red. I feel like I need to start doing some of these swatches. And I think it's time we do a, a white. And I guess we can just do pure. Sometimes I like to go just a little bit less because pure white is often a little bit too bright in games. Let's test it out. And I guess for a secondary color, We'd want to go with something close, but not too much off. So let's go with And do I have it 50% gray? I do now. It doesn't really change those ones very much. Um, I should check it out on a wall. And if I change that to like a real bright white, a subtle difference, but I feel like you can definitely see it. I think I prefer the one on the left. And then if I was to grab I don't know if there's anything else I would do. Why did you not grab the 50% gray? That's annoying. Uh, and then this would be... Something darker. There's not much difference there. Probably want to go farther. Do 
Maybe that time it worked. Maybe it's only every other time. Yeah, I feel like the 30% is probably the better way to go. Maybe 35. I shouldn't say percent. It's not a percent. It's a 0.3. I guess technically, yeah. Uh, a little bit high contrast. I think I like the 35. So this will be our medium gray. And then for the reds, we've already got the Autobot red. And... I think that's pretty good. Is that shiny? It's not. And then for his green, what does this green look like? Pretty Christmas green. Almost a little minty. I'm going to leave that available for grays and blacks, I think. And then, so we'll do green down here fresh grass green yeah this is actually pretty good as a start a little saturated And then I'll just take the same thing and make it darker for the bottom. Too light, maybe. Oh, it's changing automatically. Uh, put this on the temp swatch. Oops. Uh, edit and I think that's good. That's okay with me. So for the machines, maybe we'll go with the white. Go green on the outputs. The inputs should already be red. And then it's just a matter of what do we want these beams to be? The red's pretty good. I don't think I want to do green. White, maybe? Or is this a good spot to put in the, the middle gray? Uh, we also have uh, the carbon steel.
or a chrome finish. Chrome might be a little bit shiny to have that many of it. So I'm kind of thinking we go red. I think it was probably fine the way it was. Don't think with the the texture stuff it's going to look good with. No. That's fine. Very Christmassy, but it'll hopefully look less Christmassy once we have Wheeljack sorted out. Um, that's right. So now we can just save this. Melt our salt cell ingot. Uh, this is also... There's also... Which way does it go? I guess it's technically a left output. No. This is facing... Is the right? Hmm. Thanks, Andy. How? Hmm. I guess the whole thing would have to flip anyway. That's fine. Sweet. I guess we can clear that. Some of the buttons don't work on that. Um, that um, blueprint designer. All right. So here we can start to ransack this stuff. Oh, of course, I'm going to run out of room real fast, aren't I? Double quartz. Where is the quartz? I guess it was here. That's a long autosave. Getting up there. It's a good thing we've got things built up because uh, we'll be ripping all this down. Those I can't move just yet. There is something really satisfying about ripping out temporary stuff, but I find that sometimes it's problematic when you are, uh, have a decent uh, knowledge of the game and you need to set up something temporarily. You can set up a lot temporarily quite quickly before you take the moment to realize, I'm going to have to delete this. 
uh, in a day or two. Like I just, it's kind of crazy how much you can put up quickly. It's good that the game is not as um, problematic as Minecraft is to delete stuff, because then I don't know that I'd be playing so carefully. I would definitely be throwing things down a lot faster and not caring about how they looked in the end. Leave that for now. That's how you get the power down, so you've got to stay, but all you guys can go. And now to quickly move the storage to the other end, where it will not be a problem. Do I have a two meter foundation blueprint? I think I do. I do. They've changed something in the way the, the way the blueprints snap to each other in in the game, and it's not good visually. It's really difficult to do, and I wish they would change back. See, like, it's faster to do this than it is to do the blueprint, and that shouldn't be the case. It should be faster to do the blueprint. Alright, new storage. Quickly moving this stuff over this way. Actually, we should probably just use these, shouldn't we? the wrong bins. It's fine. Motors and stators. Do steel. Gonna be shuffling a lot of this stuff around and I think I'll try to do it a little bit uh, in between streams. So it's not such a headache. that in case we need anything from iron quickly rotors beams trash trash Should be back up and running. Okay. Let's 
So the space for this is this space right here. Like I said, it was eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's move you. I don't remember why that's there. Right, logistic floors underneath. So grab the blueprint. Why is it an undefined? Why is there two copies of it? Uh, the fact that it doesn't remember when you save it in a category is really frustrating. Obviously one of them has got a spelling mistake in it. That's the painted one. I don't know which is which. Why can't I save it into here? Why are you not? Whatever. I had this problem in, in pre-release too. That's what happened, is that you try to exit out of the menu. And it adds into the field. Why is it not saving? Like, you saw me move it, right? Edit. This one into production. Put it here, please. Light changes. This. Edit. Move blueprint. So I was centering it between here. That might be better just overall aesthetically. I feel like that's about the same amount of space on either side. And I put it in the wrong spot. So I think the having the splitters be up against the middle seam is probably the best way to go. And then I just need to bump this up. I'd say there.
It's not giving me a line. There we go. What is going on? Do I want to snap them all together? Why are you not snapping? I don't know if I want that. I mean, the thing to do here would be to redo that top beam and have it go like as like across there. Um, I could tidy that up. That's two, and that'll get us to just shy of two and a half. So I could nudge that, but then there's not going to be space for the next one. I needed six, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, see, normally I'd want to have these spaced out better, and I wonder if it might be better to have before them come to a nice stop, although they're not evenly distributed, right? I would not mind if it came all the way to there. I like the colors. The colors are fun. Um, bup, 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 bup. Yeah, this looks cool. I like it. There's enough room there to put another beam to... Almost. So what I'm kind of fussing about is whether or not I want these to kind of like evenly take over. But I guess there's a half foundation here. That's still... Isn't there a longer one of the beam connector thingy? Yeah, there is. You're right. Yeah, there's like a, this one. Do that too. I think I like the idea of um, doing this, but like spacing this out better so that we get like one beam in here. Because the idea is going to be like this is going to be sort of our wall, walkway. Canting Ocean 424. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Appreciate the follow. And the raid. My goodness, sorry. I completely missed that. I'm stuck in creative brain. Uh, thank you for the raid. That's really lovely. 
If you are new to the chat, um, folks coming in with the raid, my name is Joel Duggan. I do stream and podcast full time. So you'll have lots of stuff to look at at joelduggan.com. Links to podcasts. Uh, there's also, of course, YouTube, Joel Duggan VODs, uh, as well as the Spun Chunks podcast and the Citadel Cafe podcast. So that's my stuff. Uh, but thank you ever so much, Kenting. That's really kind of you to send over your, your viewers. Ba -ba. Decisions that I don't have time to make. A lot of fussing around. Um, I like the idea of doing a better angle. There's so few of these, it's almost not worth doing the... Um, it's almost not worth doing the blueprint like i could just i could probably do this faster on my own the blueprint stuff that matters is the underneath part that's the pain in the butt hmm well i can delete Blueprint mode. And I can put one in here. And I can lock it. And can I nudge it? No. So that's as close as I can get them. Because then it starts to... Because the hitboxes on these things are so big now. That's as close as I can make it. So the solution isn't go closer, the solution is go farther apart and see if that helps us. How satisfactory going? Uh, very well. I should show you around a little bit with the new people. We're working on our, our storage factory. So this is gonna put everything into our inventory and storage and buildables. Uh, we've already done the temporary field of factory bits. Um, this is the last of it here. And we have a giant smelter. And you'll see the little icon in the top left-hand corner, the little thumbnail. Uh, this is based off of um, Ironhide, the Transformer. We thought Ironhide and iron smelting would be cool. So this is the look. Doing like a Cybertron Transformers theme. It sort of works. We haven't had a lot of decorative tickets to do the final touches. Uh, but it does look pretty cool inside. So we've got everything underneath here for logistics. It's stopped now because, I've, of course, I've t torn out our temporary um, productions. But then we've got 30 smelters in here. So it's got 900 iron coming out the other side. Uh, or will when it's all up and running. So it's all laid out and done. It's just that where it's being consumed is not done. So it's kind of at a stutter stop point. But what I wanted to do is like these sign lights. I wanted to get some big ones and stick them behind these windows so that this is like glowing bright red maybe along the bottom here and then along that middle part and then the top part we'd have just the lights that you can see through there so we're getting there and we just decided to start to like pave the whole area for more of a Cybertron feel uh thanks Sandy I think I can wrap it up at the top of the hour we're gonna lose the sun here in a minute anyway I'm going to try one more thing with this blueprint just to see if I can get it to work. If I lock that and then I give it another nudge in this direction. That was one space. So do I do I do a one meter? Or do I do a half meter? Let's try a full meter. That's comfortable. But this one is right up against the edge.
And six goes right to the edge. So that spans the whole part of it. I think I'm more comfortable with that aesthetically. There was probably some math I could have done there, but I'm okay with that. I kind of like that this is big enough for a belt as well. So if we wanted to put a belt in between here for whatever reason, we could. It says no, but it'll let us do it from out here. So if we ever need to, we do have the wiggle room for that, which I like. Or we have enough room here to do a pillar. And that looks pretty good too. Okay. Happy with that. Let's hook it up. At least temporarily. So on this side, we've got coal on the bottom. And what was the math on this? This was six smelters. We've got drive sheet. No, foundries, sorry. Six foundries. 240 and 240. So we need a Mark III belt going all the way down. How did you hook up in there? If I was building more of these, I would have made the blueprint be um, beefier, but because this is it, I think we're fine. And then on the output, it's doing the same thing, right? Uh, 360. No, we need a Mark IV on the output. And this is going this way. And that will go off and do something. Uh, maybe we can actually temporarily bring it up here. Where are you? You're there. This is going to be our iron. Now we just need some power. I hate it when it gets dark when I'm so close to finishing something. See why I put the power underneath, because hooking them up like this just becomes so much easier. That's, so now we just need the two inputs, and temporarily we've got... Uh, do we have enough coal coming in? We probably don't. We need 240? 240. Uh, I'm going to put in a splitter here in case we need something like this.
making the blueprint takes some time, but the time you get back is later is worth it. Yeah, I agree. So put that there. I will also put another one on top for our iron. Future proof that a little bit. I think I might uh, get rid of this and put this on this level. That's the machines. And then what needs to happen is this needs to be upgraded. I hope I have enough. We will eventually move this to a nice looking permanent position, but right now this is all we've got. power shards on me I do I should make this mark for do I have enough of those I should do this before I forget Three hundred per minute. It's a normal node. I will have to go get more of these, it looks like. Really, this is enough. Um, I just need more of those encased beams. They should be over in that temporary storage I just put down. There we go. remember how low this guy flies because if we build up here I don't want him. oh he should be good I don't think he's gonna hit does he hit her he might hit the space elevator oh no okay my Metroplex build he absolutely clips through it or no flies just underneath it I think somebody I was watching I think it's total eclipse he clips on it That will be good. And I think we can probably do the same thing up here. That should be the whole way. Except for that bottleneck right there. Mark 4. So that should help with the production in there. I just need to have this go into something productive. So are we getting stuff? We are getting stuff. So 
So for example here, this is where we could start to put our steel production. It's probably just going to wrap around. I need to think about how I want to make this look pretty. Uh, these are all facing that way. I could just take a couple of these constructors and repurpose them. That would probably be the best thing to do. Steel beam. The pipe. Which means we'll just curb that. Wrap it around. And what did I say we were doing here? 240? 360. We can just amp these up for now. So that's 150. Still more than enough. And then I just have to eliminate uh, this there. Get rid of the little bits. That's 50. This is 37.5. Might as well just put down a big belt. Twenty more minutes has passed. Thank you, Sandy. I see you. I'm just trying to get this done. One of these was the steel. That was the steel. We're cooking now. And we'll do... I guess an awesome sink here. Finally, something high enough I can stand on. Those arrows need to go longer, I think. The lineup things. Just do overflow and uh, none for now. There, that should handle that. So it's going to be slow, but at least we have uh, steel production back up for both beams and rods so that we're not going to be at a complete standstill. And so what I'll do slowly over the next um, stream is uh, we'll move the production of all of this stuff up onto the, the right floor and we'll worry about how we're going to decorate this. And what I really want to start thinking about like the space in here rather than just starting to put down machines. I just knew that the, the um, foundries were going to be here because the coal is over there. And so it makes sense to bring the coal in at a close point. I don't know if we're going to wrap it around like this. We we might bring it straight in. Uh, and if we do that, we'll probably um, 
like it might be a matter of reversing these bottom um, connections, which wouldn't take too long because it's only six machines. But it would be kind of nice to have it come in maybe here. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it looks. I need to start to think about the shape of the building and whatnot. Um, and where, basically what I need to do is have a destination. I need to know where we're going to put our storage. I want it to be easy to access. And so I think that's why I want to make like a T-shaped hallway. So like, where are we here? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fifteen, sorta. Of. So that's fifteen. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is probably where I'd want like the main the main hall. We can have something happening here, something happening in this side, something happening in this side, and then we'd have a lot of our storage. It's hopefully gonna be kind of like up here. Um and then we can kind of like come in from this way, access it, come in from either this way or this way and have access to essentially a nice storage situation right here. And um, it's a pretty cool view too. So I think we could be all right. Anyway, that is where I need to wrap things up for today. Uh, so thanks very much for hanging out. Let me just switch over here. Not much to look at, unfortunately, at the end. We're still kind of in the middle of a build. Uh, but thanks again, uh, Canting Ocean, for the raid. Really appreciate it. Uh, thanks to Sandy for modding. Uh, and hi to Cosmic Dancer, who pops in at the very, very end to lurk a little bit. Uh, you missed all the pink. All of it. Uh, we will be back tomorrow. That's Thursday at 1 o'clock Atlantic. Uh, we'll tune in here for more Satisfactory. And uh, I will be picking up where we left off, essentially. Uh, we've got a lot done today. We've got um, salt, uh, not salt. We've got um, plastic and rubber out in the uh, oil fields. So we've got that coming in now. We've got that in the dimensional depot. We've got uh, a lot of buildables unlocked now as well. Still waiting on the big signs. Um, and we are starting the factory that's going to do all of our parts and inventory. So working on wheeljack so it should be good and um we'll be back on monday for more spawn chunks but also we've got some special stuff happening this weekend so if you're a spawn chunks member then you can check out things on saturday uh, there's a quarterly and i will be announcing another podcast that i'm going to be guesting on uh this saturday but i don't know when they're publishing it so uh, keep an eye out for that at Joel Duggan on Twitter, uh, Joel Duggan on Patreon if you'd like to join the Discord or a uh, Twitch sub or Prime sub. I really appreciate all of it. Um, thanks so much, folks. I gotta run, but uh, have a good day. I'll pass you on to somebody playing Satisfactory, but I don't know who that is yet. So just uh, hold on tight and I'll uh, send you along your way. See you tomorrow. <laughs>